What is the zombie apocalypse? Well, first, you need to know what a zombie is. A zombie is someone with the selenium virus who has died and reanimated with no soul or higher brain function. All zombies do is spread the virus by biting and scratching the living. They do not come from graves because people turn into zombies in about 23 hours before a formal funeral can take place. You may be asking yourself, how am I supposed to kill something that is trying to eat my flesh and already dead? Well, the answer is simple. There is only one way to completely kill a zombie. Destroying their brain. There are things you can do to make a zombie less dangerous or even slow them down. You can aim for their elbows or knees, making them unable to grab you or walk. Now, there are different ways of neutralizing a zombie. Projectiles, bludgeons, and blades are common among zombie killers' arsons. If you choose to decapitate a zombie, you must destroy the brain itself. Otherwise, you might have a snapping head on the ground. Now, which do you think is the best for killing a zombie? The rifle, the shotgun, the musket, or the AK-47? If you said the AK-47, you're wrong. The best on the screen would be the hunting rifle although a crossbow would serve you better because of its stealth properties. Now for the melee. It helps if you have a weapon that is also a tool. If you buy a sword, make sure it is not for decoration. Now that you know how to kill a zombie, what do you do with the zombie body after you've killed it? As weapons go, the flamethrower is too heavy and requires too much fuel to be considered a primary weapon. When safe, a Molotov cocktail can slow an undead horde dramatically. For disposing a neutralized zombie, a can of gasoline and matches will do wonders. Some things you should remember in a zombie apocalypse are to organize before they rise. They feel no fear. Why should you? Blades don't need reloading. No place is safe, only safer. And the zombie may be gone, but the threat lives on. So use your head and cut off theirs.